Alright, today we will talk about the proper way to calibrate a PPM and a pH meter. I always tend to get the big jars of 7 and 4 pH and keep them in my safe and every month I will replace these and I will do my measurements out of these. Um, this doesn't seem to change or fluctuate whatsoever, so I pretty much store it anywhere, but I usually keep these in the dark. So with the blue labs, what we know is if it dries, it dies, so you always have to keep it wet. And you always have to calibrate starting with the 7. You can't calibrate starting with the 4 and then go to the 7, it'll always error. So turn it on put it in. I like to give it about a minute and then I'll do my calibration by hitting the cal button and it should uh, read accurate to 7. Alright, so you can see we ended up with 7.1 so we hold our calibration and we'll get our 7 and we're good from there then you can move on to the pH of 4 and get an accurate measurement. Mine was off. It took a little bit of time to bring down. I like to shake that out before I stick it in so it doesn't change the pH in the testing solution. And we've got 3.9 makes sense. Usually, oh, 3.8, that's even worse. Usually a Blue Lab pen will adjust itself by about 0.1 every week. And it'll always go 7.1, 7.2, and it'll always go from 4 down to 3.9 to 3.8. So you always have, I guess you could say, a wider range of failure. Uh, we'll calibrate that at 4 and we'll be good to measure. Alright, so 1500 ppm solution and I'm getting 1650. Which is probably not a bad thing. Error. That's interesting. <laughs> 